Hi guys, it's JR. 如果你说你在本届世界杯里第一次认识了北欧巨人 Erling Haaland， 我会说，哎，你见鬼啦！ Erling Haaland 根本没有踢世界杯啊！在世界杯期间，他的队友都飞去卡达参赛，独留他一个人在英国痴痴等待。为此，英超联赛还特别找了他拍一个搞笑的广告。I do miss all the banter. I'm not gonna lie. Celebrating goals alone, it's not the same. Today,就来聊聊Erling 顺带一提，我们有做一部姆巴佩的影片，有机会哎可以去看一下啊。2022年7月，Holland从德国足球甲级联赛转入到英格兰足球超级联赛的曼城俱乐部，当时就有球评彻底的看衰他。Erling Holland will not live up to the expectation. He isn't the player that everybody thinks he is. People are saying that he's going to win the Golden Boot. That is outrageous. It's so disrespectful to the establishment. The Mo Salah, the Mo Salahs of the world, the the Harry Kanes of the world, the Hummin Sons of the world. Give them the respect to turn up in a new league and win the Golden Boot. That would be a ridiculous achievement, and he isn't going to do it. 结果呢 ，Holland 出来炸到本赛季进入第二十四轮，哈兰德踢了二十三场比赛，进了二十六球。稍微说明一下，英超总共有二十支球队，每个赛季每个球队有三十八场比赛，也就是三十八轮。上一个赛季的金曲奖得主是谁呢？是穆罕默德·萨拉和孙兴敏并列第一，他们分别进了二十三颗球。也就是说，哈兰德在还有十四场比赛要踢的情况之下呢，已经打破了不只是去年，而是近四年的金曲奖纪录。而且更让人热血沸腾的是呢，英超的历史纪录是三十四球。也就是说，哈兰德只要在剩下的十四场比赛当中踢进九颗。进球就可以打破英超一九九二年以来的历史记录。Are you still haunted by your pre-season comments about Erling Haaland? <laughs> I can't get away from it. I know.、Uh, yeah, mass- massively. I mean, I, 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 I was certainly,、uh, I certainly misjudged it. Haaland 加入英超联赛，瞬间就打破了一九九八年 Michael Owen 最快完成三次帽子戏法的记录。帽子戏法就是一场比赛内进三颗进球以上哦。Michael Owen 用了四十八场比赛创下记录。Holland 则用了八场比赛打破纪录。这件事惹得曼联球迷祭出了搞笑手段哦，在网络上发起联署要禁止哈兰德参赛，理由是哈兰是机器人啊，这对大家不公平啊。Four games into the season, it's not funny. 更搞笑的是，竟然还有一百万人联署。Yeah, but I'm so upset with him. He didn't score three goals, so suck him. That's why, that's why the petition to to sack him for the Premier League because the road that is not going to happen. 第十九次出赛，哈兰又拿下本赛季迄今第四次帽子戏法，成为英超史上最快完成四次帽子戏法的球员。Three, but it will be now, Haaland. I should tell you the honest thing. They made lasagna one day and I ate it, and the day after I scored a hat trick. Next home game, make lasagna, hat trick. Okay, I have to eat the rest of my life lasagna day before game. 哎，不过这个哈兰德最近有一点小进球荒啊，加油啊，赶快打破纪录啊！当然，哈兰除了因为是进球机器人，广受球迷爱戴之外呢，在网络上他的受访画面、比赛画面也常常被做成梗图和迷因。What's your secret?、Uh, you scored ten times now in the Champions League. Uh, hard work. What else? Enjoying my life, working hard, and、uh, smiling. Your father scored there in 1997. You gonna follow suit? I hope so. Fine, I'm gonna put a pass in from an old man. Since I've been two weeks. Tonight you became the youngest player in UEFA Champions League history to score a first half hat trick. How are you feeling right now? I feel very good. Holland, 两千年出生在英国，三岁的时候全家搬回挪威定居。他本来是可以代表英格兰出赛的，但是他最终选择了挪威。
他父亲是前英超球员 a l v i n Holland， 最后效力的英超俱乐部就是曼城。他的职业生涯当中，效力于李智廉的时候，跟曼联的 Roy Keane 发生了一些冲突。What are you doing? <笑> That's a red card. <笑> It would be red card now. 他先是跟 Roy Keane 发生碰撞，他走过去叫他站起来，不要装了。结果事实是 Roy Keane 当时真的受伤了，后来复健了一年。Roy Keane 康复之后 a l v i n Holland 已经转会到曼城。在曼城曼联的德比大赛当中 ，Roy Keane 对 a l v i n Holland 报复性的蓄意铲球，这一铲就伤了老哈兰德的右脚，让原本就已经有左脚伤势的他呢，职业生涯急转直下。所以当 Erling Holland 加入曼城，被问到最想遇到哪一队时， I don't like to say the word, but、um, <laughs> but Manchester United, yeah. Yes. So we take sir, so I do son ter. I'm thinking how long. Yeah, he's right. You had Erling, and you scored two goals. Can we also learn that you scored a goal? For Farden, couldn't it? I don't know. Make sure. He's not going to be for that. No. I'll stand up on that one. I think he maybe he's learned、uh, a few things from me, you know,、uh, about some mentality、uh, stuff.、Uh, football is a team、uh, team game. If you're going to be good yourself, you have to appreciate that the others are doing a, a, a good job for, also for you, and you have to do a, a good job、uh, for them. When my teammates are so good, you know, then it's. It's getting, it's getting easy. Alfie Allen's father was not a big pressure guy. He was calm and let、uh, Erling develop, and、uh, he didn't interfere in one training session, not the match, not even a single. He just stood and and. If we ask Alfie for some advice, he would give give us. And、uh, I had a lot of、uh, role models, but、uh, my father's maybe been the biggest one. Holland's father has already left. Holland's mother was once the Norway's seven-time champion champion. So Holland has been exposed to not only football, but also tennis, shooting, golf, and many other sports. At five years old, he set a world record. To this day, there is no one who can beat him. That is the world record for the fastest jump in the world, one meter sixty-three. I can only say that this genetic gene is really strong. I think my、uh, my speed comes from、uh, both my mother and my father. His foot even extends into music. When I was young, I formed a rock band with friends. Hmm. Certainly, when he saw his strong movements, he knew that one day he would become a great football player. 五岁那年，他也加入了挪威家乡 Bruyne 的足球学院。到了十五岁又九个月的时候，可以说是他职业生涯的开端。他升上了 Bruyne 的成人队，踢的是挪威第二级联赛。直到十六岁那一年，他跟挪威一级联赛的 Molde 俱乐部签约。这个时期，他的总教练奥莱冈纳索尔斯克亚评论 Holland 的球风就很像是比利时的 Romelu Lukaku。哈兰德因为身形巨大，队友们给他取了一个绰号，叫做“巨婴 ”（The Man Child）。Han måste ha mye mat och han han kom till mig kan det kan det få mat med jämspur. He、uh, ate like a horse, and when he grow, we need to be careful about the load out、uh, on the pitch. There was more in the gym that we wanted him to be. Because we wanted him to be injury free. 十八岁那年转会到奥地利的 Red Bull Salzburg。要知道，挪威、奥地利的联赛都不是欧洲最顶尖的赛事哦。但是哈兰德在这边练兵了好一阵子。这个时期的哈兰德开始展现出越来越成熟的进球能力。但可能最让人印象深刻的是，还是 FIFA U20 世界杯，就是二十岁以下选手的世界杯。挪威十二比零碾压了洪都拉斯，而哈兰德个人就进了九球，这成为 FIFA U20 世界杯的个人单场最高进球纪。也是单场比分差最大的比赛。短短一年的时间后，哈兰德登陆了欧洲最顶尖的五大联赛之一——德国足球甲级联赛，加入了多特蒙德俱乐部。在那里，正是他发光发热的开始。德甲处女秀下半场替补上场，二十三分钟内就完成了帽子戏法。第一个月上场时间还不到一个小时，就拿下了 Player of the Month。2021年11月27日对狼堡的比赛中，哈兰德是伤愈归队，但是一回来又为球队进球，成为德甲史上最年轻且最快只用了五十场比赛就达成五十进球的球员。而且不仅是在联赛表现出色，在欧冠也同样展现出惊人的破坏力。稍微说明一下，欧冠杯是欧洲各国联赛的前几名才能够参加的杯赛，像是英超和德甲都要前四名才有资格参赛。欧冠杯就是欧洲俱乐部赛事的最高殿堂，或甚至可以说是。
全世界俱乐部赛事的最高殿堂。而 Erling Haaland 至今欧冠出赛二十三场，进了二十八颗进球。二零二零二零二一赛季，尽管多特蒙德在八强赛遭到淘汰，但是哈兰德的十颗进球已经让他稳坐当届欧冠得分王。二零二二年七月，哈兰德转会来到英超曼城，继续展开一连串的打破纪录之旅。如果你对哈兰德的进球效率还抓不到感觉，没有关系，我们来参考看看梅西和 C 罗在哈兰德现在这个年纪的时候他们的数据。梅西在西甲联赛20092010赛季出赛35场，进球34助攻1 1 c 罗22岁在英超联赛。出赛三十四场，进球三十一，助攻七。如果转换成平均每场比赛对球队的进球贡献，梅西的数据是每场一点二八六颗进球，而 C 罗是一点一一七。再看回哈兰德，目前英超出赛二十三场，进二十六球，助攻四，数据是相当惊人的一点三零四啊！当然，单一赛季的表现不足以代表一个足球员的实力哦，这也是为什么梅西和 C 罗如此惊人哦。因为如果你摊开他们数十年的职业生涯，就以他们在西甲踢球的时间来看好了，梅西十七个赛季的数据是一点三二七 ，C 罗九个赛季的数据是一点三九零。可以在好几个年头当中持续的稳定输出哦，这绝对是一个伟大足球员的必要条件。而 Erling Haaland 的职业生涯呢，才正在起飞当中啊，令人非常期待啊。It's unbelievable, honestly. I've never ever witnessed anything like it in my life. When I was walking back, I think after one of the goals, maybe the third one, the keeper said something to me, and I was like, "What?" And then he was like, "This guy, he was like." He's not human, and I was like, I was like, bro, no, I was like, you're telling me. 另外一个数据的迷思就是球员的位置或者是他扮演的角色呢，不见得会反映在数据上。像是梅西就经常回撤帮忙组织进攻，或者是说进攻球员勤劳的帮忙回防，这些在数据上就不见得会看得出来，但是却有可能成为影响战局的隐形关键。最近呢，哈兰德也曾被批评说，哦，他都是 tap in 门前一脚，说他参与球队的组织进攻太少，触球次数太少。队友曼城门将 Ederson 出言相挺说。很多人都说他进的都是轻松球，这不对，那是因为他很会跑位，那是他最强的能力。那些不是轻松的进球，而是他很会站位。面对这些批评，哈兰德本人的回应倒是一派自然。People maybe talk about that I don't touch the ball enough and this and that, but、uh, I don't care about this.、Uh, I know what I'm gonna do and、uh, what I have to do, and、uh, this is exactly what I did today in a difficult match. My dream is to touch the ball five times and score five goals. That's、uh, big, my biggest dream. 哈兰德在面对批评或嘲笑的时候呢，态度总是蛮淡定的哦。这一点让我特别蛮喜欢他的。欧冠杯十六强上遇到内马尔·姆巴佩的巴黎圣日耳曼 （PSG）， 第一站二比一赢球。哈兰德在进球后做出了冥想的庆祝动作。第二战的时候，当 PSG 翻盘淘汰了多特蒙德，内马尔和全队全部一起模仿哈兰德嘲笑他。Chris had the the famous meditation celebration、um, after when PSG imitated it. Did that bother you a little or nah? No, not really. I think I think uh, they uh, they helped me a lot to、uh, to get meditation out in the world and.、Uh, To show、uh, to the whole world that、uh, meditation is、uh, is an important thing, so uh, so uh, I'm thankful that they that they helped me with that. 哈兰德的个性应该是蛮不错的哦，他的队友教练都说他蛮好相处的。他离开多特蒙德的时候呢，感觉大家是对他蛮依依不舍的。Can we take a photo? Yes. Yes. I think it's my last chance, right? We will see.、Uh... Yeah, come on. Let's go. Yeah, come. No good. No problem. It's gonna be really sad tomorrow. I think I'm gonna cry, yeah, because I've never been in this situation. Like last game, and I will play, you know. My last training today. It's a bit sad. So I have a lot of friends here. To never, I will see them, of course, again, but not on a daily basis. It's yeah, it's sad. I have to say, it's sad.究竟为什么哈兰德能够拥有今天的实力？当然了、啊，他有他的先天优势啊，优秀的遗传基因，不可否认的天赋。He's born with special gifts. He was from day one a natural goal scorer, which is instinct and smartness in the box. From early, he showed a great winner mentality. He was never afraid. But 除此之外，难道没有其他吗？ 
。塔兰德成功的秘密究竟是什么 ？Hard work， 其实就是一个常被人们轻忽的特质——态度。哈兰德在奥地利联赛时期的队友告诉记者说：“当他们做客去比赛，大家都在车上玩牌的时候，你就会看到哈兰德一个人在看书，他都在读一些如何提升睡眠和饮食的科学文章。” And I think his ambition, he want to be better, will be better. As I said, I think I can develop a lot on the pep and、uh, in this club. He work ethic as well is so so great. So... As he grew older, he was very、uh, hardworking, a really nice guy to work with.、Him. He smiled a lot, trained a lot, scored a lot. When I got my first professional contract、uh, in Brunn,、uh, I was thinking, yeah, this is a good thing. But、uh, also on the other side, it's nothing compared to others. He's really hungry for success and、uh, really professional outside the field, and mentally strong. After a game, he's finished with the game and think about the next one and prepare himself for that. The day before, we had a session. He was missing the goal every time he tried. And he struggled. He was angry at himself. And then the game against Brondkom, and he looked like a million dollar. When I was in Salzburg, I started scoring goals there. But also, you know, if I'm realistic, oh, look at Kylian Mbappe. He's scoring. He's banging goals in Liga. So you know, you can always, you can always, you can always reach a higher level. 身为一个职业足球员，什么叫做敬业？哈兰德以前不大会投锤，于是 When I came to Molde. Actually, with Ole Gunnar, he、uh, was talking about my headers and said, you, "You cannot even head." I agree with him, you know. And then we did every single day crosses and headers,、uh, and I think it's important to do a little bit every day,、yeah. you know. 对哈兰德来说，敬业就是总是在寻找哪里还可以进步。What do you keep need to to keep on improving? Yeah, I think I can improve everything. Do you? You know. I miss chances with my left foot all the time. I just did、uh, last weekend.、Yeah. You know,、uh, there's so many things, and that's what also is so nice about the game. You can always improve. No matter. 但是除了身体上的能力，心理素质也是哈兰德一个很强大的武器。Do you feel under pressure? You can just go out and play your play your football. Yeah, of course it's it's pressure, but in my head it's about trying to go out on the pitch, smiling as much as I can,、yeah. to try to enjoy the. The game because、uh, life goes fast and suddenly my career is over. You, you saw it, my father. You know, suddenly it's over. So it's about trying to enjoy every single minute of it. I'm really lucky to have this job and to be here. So.、Uh 我自己一开始关注哈兰德，单纯就只是觉得，哇哦，这个坦克怎么每天都在把人撞飞啊？怎么每天都在进球啊？怎么对手传他球，结果是对手被抬出场啊？怎么每天都好像有新的记录被打破啊？在撰写这个脚本的过程当中哦，我看了他无数的采访，别人对他的评价，比赛的片段和镜头，对这位北欧巨婴啊，我现在是真的真心的相当相当相当佩服。资料多到没有办法塞进这部十分钟的影片哦，但是如果要再稍微添加的话呢，他的教练，他的队友形容。他他不会意识看台上是谁在观赛，不管是跟朋友踢球还是跟国家队比赛，他都没有在怕，他还是很尊重他的对手，但他就是单纯没有在意识对手是谁。他小时候经常一个人反复练习，因为他梦想是要成为顶尖球员。当他在德国踢球的时候，开始引起大量媒体关注。但是十九岁的他并没有被冲昏头，他很专业，他总是第一个到训练中心，就连放假日也是自己跑去训练中心训练。他知道什么对他来说是最重要的。哈兰德甚至把欧冠主题曲设为自己的闹钟，说他从不感到厌倦。我觉得我可以用我去年读的一本书的内容来做一个总结哦，这是 Bill Beswick 写的书，他是职业足球第一位专职的运动表现心理学家，他辅导过的球队包含像是英格兰国家队、英超、英冠、荷甲的俱乐部，也包括这个鼎鼎大名的曼联。他辅导的职业运动员当中呢，也不仅限于足球员，在他的书中他写到，表现的基石是才华和态度，优越的才华加上优越的态度，几乎能保证优越的表现。才华不够杰出，往往还是能够成功；但是态度不够，绝不可能成功。虽然提高才能可能很困难，并且需要时间，但你可以在任何时候选择显著提升你的态度。今天的影片跟你们分享，希望对你们的生活、对你们的职业、人生都有一些新的看见和帮助。我自己在准备资料的过程当中是觉得很励志啊、哦！我们一起加油！喜欢这部影片的话，记得给我们按一个赞、分享、留言，跟我们讲你的意见和想法。重点是呢。哈兰德什么时候破英超纪录啊？加油啊！拜拜。